I wanted to do a very quick video on inverse function notation. Um, you've already met some inverse functions before, although you might not have known it. Because uh, at GCSE, in looking at sine, cos and tan from trigonometry, you will have met sine minus 1x, for example. And you may have referred to it as inverse sine of x, the inverse sine. Okay, so in actual fact, if you have inverse of sine and then you sine that, you get back to x because inverse sine and sine cancel each other out. Okay, they invert one another. And round the other way, you could have sine minus 1 of sine of x. So if you perform sine of x first and then invert sine, you will arrive back at x for exactly the same reason. And we've met uh, inverse functions before. We've met e and log x. So e to the log x was just x, and log of e to the x was just x. Okay? And really the notation that I want to get into our heads is really this. This minus 1 there. And we use f to the minus 1 to mean the inverse function of f. Okay? It's not to the power of minus 1 here, because we're not uh, using it as an index. We use it as a notation to say that this is the inverse function of x. So if you perform f minus 1 first, and then you perform f, you get back to x, because f and f minus 1 are inverse functions of one another. And just as it was the same around the other way, f of x first, then the inverse function, will just get you back to where you started. Okay? So, really what I want to highlight here is the notation and the inverse functions that we've already met. In the next video, we're going to be looking at, uh, well, the next few videos, we're going to be looking at how we can actually find the inverse function for particular functions of x.